Well, I've been active in user groups uh, for 10 years in the Apple group and the Commodore 64 group and the uh, PC users group and the San Diego Computer Society. So I was well aware of the value of and the desirability of uh, providing a place where people could get together one-on-one -on -one and be uh, and learn from each other. So it was a natural thing to do since I was new to VB and I needed help. So I guess we just uh, had that first meeting and uh, I don't know if you can remember how many were at the meeting, but it seems like maybe 10 people showed up, which was a little surprising to me. And uh, we all decided that uh, associating with each other was a mutual benefit and it was fun besides. So uh, it, uh, it just went on from there. Well, there certainly was an intense interest in the beginning once it got going, and I, I can sort of remember meetings of 100 people or more. Uh, everybody saying, boy, this is new, and I want to get into it, and uh, uh, a user group is a way to uh, associate with people and, and learn. Well, user groups uh, provide a place to get together one on on one with the other people who are either in the field or have a knowledge level above yours or below yours. And if they're below yours, you get to learn by helping them learn. And uh, uh, networking, of course, is a big one. But uh, the, uh, the uh, social aspect of getting together to learn uh, in a situation that is more than just online. Uh, it's more like a uh, regular classroom situation on an informal basis. My name is William Getz, and I am a software engineer here in San Diego. I've been attending the San Diego.net developer group for a little over three years. I've been gainfully employed for two. Prior to that, I lost my job as a, as a contractor and a tenant improvement in the carpentry department. So, three, so 2008, everything kind of fell apart and I had nowhere to go to college. And a buddy of mine who's been developing for 10 or so years said, well, now that you're not working, you have time to pair program. Oh, and by the way, I highly recommend going to this user group. It's been out of the way. I was living in El Cajon, but I made the effort to get here once a month and I was absolutely floored by how welcoming the community was. Everyone was really delighted that, that people were there. My name is Jason Kearney. I'm a senior developer at Hunter Industries. Uh, the reason I come to the .NET developers group is for several reasons. I like the talks. I like networking. A lot of the people here are very interested in what they do. They're very passionate. It's fun to talk to them about it, even when you, when you disagree. Sometimes those are the best discussions ever. Uh, everyone is helpful. And when you have a problem, it's a great, great place to come and get advice, and everybody's free with it. Yeah, so I come here for the social aspect as well as the uh, chance to hear something interesting. My name is uh, Rod Nazire. I'm a senior developer at a local company here in San Diego. I enjoy every month that I, I, I came here. One thing is uh, learning new stuff. Number two is validating that what you're doing is actually correct. And uh, number three, uh, having a community agreeing to a certain standards in, in writing codes. My name is Paul Whitmer. I'm a developer at Bridgepoint Education. And I come to the user group to learn more about .NET and to share what skills I have as well. And uh, basically uh, discuss techniques and help uh, network. I've also been a speaker for the group. I discussed uh, SignalR for one of the sessions about two months ago, and it was fun. I learned how to use uh, SignalR for pushing services in my day-to-day -day projects, and I wanted to share it with the community of people that want to learn, and it, it seemed like it was uh, pretty well received. My name is David Kennedy. I'm a senior software developer at Carefusion. Um, I'm coming to these things because, um, well, Paul touched on something which was networking and my current job I got by meeting people here at this .NET developer group. Uh, but 
beyond job opportunities, I come here to uh, both learn and share with the community. I've given a few talks at the meetings, um, which I think were pretty well received. My delivery might have been shaky, but I think the content was good. Um, but there's a, there's a plethora of, um, of great talks that uh, great community speakers come here to give, and I'm really thankful to have um, free access to that. I'm Susie. I'm Megan. And we're technical recruiters from Tech Systems focusing on applications and specifically .NET. Yeah, and we've been coming to this user group for about eight months now. We've actually placed three people from this user group. Yep. Um, I've reviewed resumes and helped people just start aligning what they're gonna, how they're going to start their career searches. And also something that we were both talking about today was we think it's a really great opportunity for all of the .NET developers to be able to network with each other and um, learn a lot from each other. So. From, as an outsider, I see that as something that would be really valuable. Why to come? Yeah, and even though we're not coders, we're still <laughs> learning a lot. And um, it's really interesting for us to kind of come and see and really like learn and see the behind the scenes of what we're actually recruiting. And it's a really great networking tool for us and for everyone in the industry. So, yeah. Uh, my name is Nick Lewitz. I'm the Director of Technology Services for Vaco Technology. And I'm Joe Frazee, and I'm a technical recruiter for Vaco Technology as well. Yeah, we really enjoy coming to these types of user groups. We get an opportunity to meet a lot of really great talent, as well as get a chance to learn about our profession a little bit more. Uh, it gives us the ability to better serve our clients and, and help different developers and coders get positions that they really uh, could benefit from, and we, we like to change people's lives. Yes, to add on to that, uh, changing people's lives does uh, mean a lot to us because we always do care about who we're affecting, um, because it's that satisfaction of being able to help someone not only with the job but their career changing uh, move. Uh, it's not always easy and it's a little scared. Uh, so obviously having someone there to work with you uh, throughout the process, uh, trying to help out with organizing things, working out car rides if you're working out for a schedule for an interview. Um, but just being able to meet new faces, uh, just and learn more about the technologies that are um, running the companies around here. Um, we learn it kind of on a surface level. To learn just a little bit lower uh, is very intriguing and something I'd like to do more. And it's just really, really fun.